good morning today we are going to discuss about the prevention of corrosion by metallic coatings at the end of this session students will be able to explain the methods for prevention of corrosion of metal by the metallic coatings there are various methods amongst which we are going to discuss about the galvanization process that is coating by means of zinc metal second tinning process that is coating by means of a tin metal and third one is a metal cladding first galvanization galvanization is a process in which the zinc is coated on the metallic material here applied to the base metal especially iron steel etc when these are to be exposed to atmosphere or the soil this is the diagram which explains the process galvanization process in general first the flux is used iron sheet after complete removal of all the dust and dirt particle we are immersing in the 20% of zinc ammonium chloride and then it is passed through a washing bath then it is dried and then it is taken to the molten zinc bath at 450 to 460 degrees celsius 425 to 460 degrees celsius and then after it is taken out for the next process process we can explain in detail galvanizing is carried out in the following steps stages first preparation of surface pickling treatment the article which is to be galvanized is pickled for 15 to 20 minutes in 7% of a sulfuric acid at 60 degrees celsius 60 to 80 degrees celsius b preliminary treatment the pickled article is treated with 5% of hydrofluoric acid to dissolve sand grain etc third cleaning solution it is passed through about 20% of zinc ammonium chloride solution to clean any superficial oxide if formed during the storage second zinc bath treatment the washed dried article is dipped in bath of molten zinc maintained between 425 degrees celsius to 460 degrees celsius to avoid the oxide formation the zinc bath is kept covered with flux such as zinc ammonium chloride then the article is then passed through a pair of hot rollers to remove excess of zinc and to produce uniform layer on the article third step annealing finally the article is annealed at a temperature of 650 degrees celsius and then slowly it is cooled slow cooling of article to avoid the blistering or the cracking of the layer of zinc is called as annealing process nature of galvanized coating galvanized coating consists of inner zones of iron zinc alloy and outer layer of almost pure zinc the composition of iron zinc alloy changes from outer layer to the surface of iron the zinc contained in alloy goes on decreasing as we go from outer layer to the base metal the protective action is based on the ph range it is best effective in the ph range of 6 to 12.5 duration for this ph range then it can serve the purpose for many years protective action of zinc that is galvanization thin coating avoids the direct contact of iron with air and moisture iron remains protected because standard reduction potential that is srp of zinc iron zinc electrode is minus 0.76 volt which is less than srp of iron electrode that is minus 0.44 volts the oxidation reaction that is zinc 
undergoes oxidation and that forms a zinc ion by release of electrons that is two electrons with a lower SRP. The reaction iron which undergoes oxidation to give electrons necessary for rusting do not take place now. Application Galvanization is used in the manufacture of articles such as roofing sheets, pipes, wires, nails, pipe fittings, etc. It is also effective on iron and steel articles exposed to seawater and other solutions in the chlorides. Galvanization limitation. Galvanized iron containers cannot be used for the purpose of canning food because zinc will pass into the solution forming poisonous zinc salts which will poison the contents. Now pause the video and answer this question. The question is, the productive action of the zinc is effective in the pH range of A 6 to 12.5, B 2 to 5.5, C 6 to 7.5 and D 3 to 4.5 pH. Welcome back. The answer for this question is A that is 6 to 12.5. Second process it is tinning process. Coating by means of tin material is called as a tinning. This is the diagram which explains the process. It consists of a zinc flux, molten tin and the palm oil. Basically, the, what is the difference between tinning and galvanization? A zinc metal is used in galvanization and tin metal is used in tinning. In galvanization, after galvanization, the iron sheet is annealed. In tinning, after tinning, the iron sheet is passed through palm oil before it comes out. Tinning process. First step. First, the sheet is pickled in dilute sulfuric acid at about 4 to 8 percent, which is its concentration, at about 75 degrees Celsius for 3 to 5 minutes before tinning to remove the oxide film. Second step. The steel sheets are passed through the feed rollers in turn through the flux. Then the steel sheet is passed through the first compartment of molten tin at maintained at 300 to 340 degrees Celsius and through then through a second compartment of a molten tin. Then the sheet is passed through a series of rollers in a palm oil bath. Thin layer of palm oil adhering to the tin layer protects it from oxidizing during the solidification of tin in air. Then the palm oil is removed by sawdust or other similar material and sheet is polished by dry flannel rollers. Productive action of tin. Tin is resistant to corrosion, hence a thin coating of tin or iron is productive in nature. Tin coating is not as durable as that of zinc in GI sheets. If the layer of tin is broken, rusting becomes more rapid as SRP of iron ion is minus 0.44 holes is lower than that of SRP of tin that is minus 0.14 holes. Productive action of tin, therefore the oxidation reaction that is iron gives iron ion and electrons with lower SRP is driven to the right, thus rusting is facilitated. Applications Tinning is used for food containers to prevent the blackening or bleaching of meat or some vegetable. Tin cans should be lacquered or enameled on the inside. 
It is also used for copper wires to facilitate soldering process. Third process that is metal cladding. Sandwiching the metal sheets between two thin sheets of the coating material by passing through rollers under the action of heat and pressure. It involves bonding firmly and permanently a dense homogeneous layer of a coating material to the base material on one or both sides. The thickness of the cladding usually ranges from 5 to 20 percent of the composite plate. This can be done by means of this particular rollers or by use of this roller. This is the diagram which explains the metal cladding. These are two rollers which are revolving with opposite directions. This is the base metal with on which a coating metal which is to be clad after the compression or the pressure and heat uh, process this comes out which is a cladded material. The reason for cladding to develop surface properties of more expensive corrosion resistant and high melting materials or alloys such as monil, stainless steel, copper etc. in a steel sheets. Second, for combining the sheets of steel wire with the electrical conductivity of copper and third, for providing anodic protection to aluminum alloy. Application, it is used in aircraft industry for manufacture of alclad sheets. Alclad is obtained by sandwiching duralumin plate between two layers of 99.5 percent pure aluminum. References, for this we have used a textbook of engineering chemistry by Jane and Jane. Thank you.